Hey guys, I'm back, and I'm going to make another video on some pins, ribbons, and I guess four pictures, and uh, one button. And so, if I'm, please correct me if I'm wrong on this stuff, but yeah, so let's jump right into this video. So first, right here, we have a Korean Presidential Unit um, citation right here, and still, I guess, uh, the package, I mean, the wrapping on the outside is still in here. It's still on it. But yeah, it's in good condition. I mean, if I'm wrong, it correct me, but, yep. And then we have uh, a picture right here. It's dated 1944. I'm back. I have a couple of these right there. Sorry, the light's reflecting me. Alright, then we have another one right here. I like this one a lot. Alright, it's not dead on the back. So I'm writing that, like, there's some stamping on it. Maybe it's just, hold on. Okay, you're not gonna be able to see it. The light's not want you to see it. But anyways, alright, and get this one right here. Private right up there. 44 There's one right here same guy to this one and yeah I'm not sure what he's in he has ribbons on him I guess he got a coat sure who that is I'm not sure where he's from and this one stayed 44. Alright, those are the pictures. Alright, moving on. We're gonna, I guess, go to... Let's go to Rogan Sun. Alright, so... We have, uh... First one we have, uh... Right here. It's an Army Good Conduct ribbon. And I guess I had, no, we have one of those. Then we have right up here we have a American or I guess World War Two American campaign um, ribbon from even Sir probably 1941-1946. And that's what you have. I think I have two of these right here. Sorry, like I I don't know why I look at it but I, but I tilt my camera down. So I'm not just try to remember kind of like that. So here it is. I'll repeat it. World War II American campaign um, ribbon from 1941 to 46. Right there, and I have two of them. Right, one right here, and right there. Then we have a right here bronze star ribbon. And I think I only have one. Of, yeah, I only have one of those. Of course, we have a purple heart. I have two of them. One here, one down here. Please comment in this section below what this is and what these three things are. Uh, maybe this is like you like you got this medal three times, or I mean, yeah, this medal or ribbon. I, I don't know, but like you know, it's fully ranked up something. And just, I'm not quite sure. But anyways, comment down in the section below. But this one right here is uh. World War II American Defense Medal from 1939 to 41. And I got two of them. Then we have one right here is a uh, World War II Europe Africa. So, like, if I was in a, you know, the Americans fought in, in Africa, or I guess you say, well, anyways, World War II Europe Africa Middle East Medal or ribbon, because I guess I had a medal with it. And this is the ribbon to it, and it's 1941 to 45. And uh, then we have this one right here. The one right here. Do I have, yeah, the one right here is a uh, basically a World War Two victory um, ribbon. It was 1941 to 46. Uh, yeah. And then we that's basically it for the ribbons. And then we have, um, 
right here. This is a sharpshooter. Like if you would have like mastered it or like you know you're you passed it. Like if you're you're I guess you're a decent. I don't know how to say like, I guess you're a sharpshooter and you know, there's an expert and there's like a I guess a passing grade metal. This is I will always say this is sharpshooting. And so he, this guy was I guess master pistol and this was this guy didn't master this but I got this from somewhere else that was just like this. It wasn't connected to anything. So I just put it next to this so and if he would have mastered this would this would have gone right under here. And so yeah, I have that. And then we have a uh, Oak leaf, kernel, pins, and this is uh, different. These are both different. This one, the back is different. See, this one's different. See, they're, they're different. They have some writing or some markings on it. This one does not. This one does. This looks like a little goldish. This looks like kind of like a uh, brass, brass, um, brass like uh, silver. But, you know, I, I, there's no markings to tell unless you're an expert. I don't know. But, I like them. I got two of them, but I wish I had get one that like the exact same or pair. And then we have this right here. It says, follow me. I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's I'm pretty sure like you would, uh, get this if you're like a, I guess a platoon leader or something and you were a good leader. And you know what you're doing, and I guess referring to the follow me, DS pin. But I don't know. Please comment down in the section below. I mean, even though I can look it up easily and find the definition, I mean, or find the exact in, exact information on this. But, anyways, moving on, we it's dated. I mean, it's not dated, but it's marked where it was manufactured. It's manufactured in New York, right here. I gotta get a better camera because it, like, it cannot focus. I mean, I've tried a thousand times on all kinds of stuff and never focuses, so. Anyways, then we have, uh, of course, second lieutenant, um, brass. Most of them are made out of brass. I mean, well, some of them, somewhere else, or, I guess, never mind. I mean, I'm just saying some of them are gold, but, I mean, I don't have any gold ones. I'm just saying people do, I'm pretty sure, have, you know, World War II maybe had gold ones, but. These are all brass. Uh, I have about three pairs, but then I have a couple over here. So uh, basically, I don't have four pairs and just one extra. But no, actually, I have five pairs. Wait, one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, five pairs. I have five pairs right here, and then uh, single lieutenant uh, pins. They go on your your. Look at that. You're going to cap or you know on your shoulder right there. Um, but, anyways, then we have this. This is the US. It's a, it's a bit, it's a pin that just a pin, really. I'm not quite sure where it will go. I mean, I'm pretty sure it might go right around here like on his uh, collar, but I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty positive about that. And the same right here. This might have gone on his collar. It's probably gone right around here. My bad. But it's a screw one right here. It's nice. Yeah, he's from Marine Corps. Really nice looking one. It's a screw one, not the pin one. I was doing one that's a screw, like a bolt kind of. Then we have a airborne. I mean, I'm not sure if it's an 82nd or 101st or some other airborne division, but all I know, I found these just like it, and they're just referring it to airborne parachuter pins. I go to it. It's not really in bad condition. But, you know, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, I like to hear from you guys. But anyways, then we have up here. That was really cool. It's, I, I was in the, I went to an antique store. And I was not going to get this until I saw this on the back. It said S20, um, 
S um, dash twenty six GI. I thought it was nineteen nineteen twenty six GI. But even though if it's not from uh, nineteen twenty six, it's still really cool. But try are you over here? Man? Okay, it's gonna take ten years. If it's gonna focus. I'm just gonna stop that, but it says S dash night I mean twenty six dash or not no dash and it's G I. That's what it says there. And I got this pin that came with it. I mean button. It's national is it National Marksman and then on the bottom it says nineteen fifteen and it says NRA. Probably gives it away. Look it up. Then it has some sort of dating right there. I gotta get a better camera. I mean, probably a good camera, but I don't really know how to use it. It's weird. Not just for taking a flash. Then we have uh, a pin, just like referring to this one. It would probably, if you're in infantry, it would go on the side. Like it would go on your collar, like this side. This would go on that side. And then this would probably go on that side. That side of that collar and that, that side of the collar. But, I don't have one pin with it. But anyways, that's that. And then I have a McMullen name tag. And there's buttons in the back that you clip on somewhere. But my friend gave this to me. I'm not really sure if it's a uh, good kind. Like, I'm not sure maybe it might have been for the Korean War, I don't know. It's because I got this from him too. I got these from him too, so I mean, my from the Korean War. My they all have been from the Korean War. I don't know, comment down a second below where this uh, name tag would be uh, put down for. I mean, I guess, um, let's say, if it, it feels like this name tag was created in the Korean War, or World War Two, or One, I don't know. But put comment down in the section below what it is, if you can. But anyways, then we have. With finishing up pins, um, I don't really, let's say, I don't really look at pictures of United States, like, infantry, um, I don't really do research on this, I'm not sure, I'm just guessing that these right here, these pins, like, these pins, all right here, will go on the collar, go on this collar right here, or we're going on his, uh, shoulder, um, but, I don't know, uh, but comment down in the section below what you think these go to, but I can really, I can tell you what these are. This is infantry, I, I'm pretty sure it's infantry in the U.S., and just like the one over here without this round circular outer layer from like the in core of the U.S., but we have that, then we have, uh, medic. Medical with the, I guess, a uh, bolt basically screwing on. Similar to the bolt. Then we have we have this with that. Then we have the last one. Tell me what this is. I'm guessing this might be artillery. Maybe. Well, tell me down in the section below because I have a couple of them. Um, I only have like two of them, but next video, it would be on like this box right here. Now it looks kind of weird with the stuff on, but there's a. My aunt sent me some uh, stuff that she got from New York, or she got from uh, her stuff because she collects buttons. She's a lot of them she gave me from World War II. She had, she's been collecting buttons for like 70 years. And so, some really cool stuff in there I'll make a video about. And, uh, but, yeah, guys, please, uh, I really, I mean, guys, um, thank you so much for hitting 39 subscribers. Uh, let's see if we can hit four subscribers, and I'll make a video about that. Really happy, and thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting from you guys, getting from you guys. Uh, so I guess like, comment, and of course subscribe. All right, peace. Guys.